everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! I can't believe it's 2017, I just have no idea where 2016 went, it just flew by and I just love New Year's, I love having a fresh start, I know that it's basically just the same thing carried forward but I just love knowing that I've got a new year to improve and build on myself and everything like that, as cheesy as it sounds. <laughs> so for today's video I'm going to be filming a what I got for Christmas video. I know that Christmas was nearly a month ago now but I haven't had a time to film since then because I did move the week after Christmas and I've just been settling in and then getting back into work and getting out everyone's Christmas and Boxing Day orders, so yeah, I've really had no time, so I'm going to film it now. So I'm also going to throw in my sales purchases, because I didn't really buy that many, I mostly bought home stuff, but I am going to film a homeware haul in a few weeks' time once my flat's a bit more finished, and I'm also going to do a mini tour, so I'm going to save them for that video, so I'm just going to throw in the few kind of beauty and fashion bits I did buy, and I'm also going to throw in a couple of lovely PR gifts that I received, because I did receive a couple this year, which was so, so nice. So starting off with the Christmas gifts, I'm just going to go in a random order because they are all sprawled on my bed next to me but I'll try and keep it like person to person but we'll see how I go with that. <laughs> so starting off with my granddad and his girlfriend, they really kindly got me a John Lewis voucher because they know I've just moved so this will be really really handy because I buy so much stuff from John Lewis for my flat it's ridiculous. I'll probably end up buying a candle or something because you can just never have enough, but we'll see what I end up getting. <laughs> Moving on to my boyfriend's mum, she got us a lovely joint present of a spa day together, which is so lovely because she knows, again, that we've just moved, so it'll be really nice to relax after the stress of the move and everything like that with a nice spa day, so I'm so looking forward to that because we haven't done that yet. But she also got me a few little bits, mainly candles because she knows that I love them, and she picked me up this really lovely fig candle which just smells so beautiful. I have no idea where she got it from, but it just smells amazing. Me and my boyfriend decided not really to do presents this year. I bought him a few bits because I just can't resist, and he bought me a couple of small things, but we decided not really to bother because obviously we have just moved, and that's really expensive, so we're focusing on getting the flat really lovely rather than just buying each other things, which I actually think is a really good idea because I would much rather have a lovely home than loads of presents from him. So yeah, that's that. And then I think all else I've got is from my parents because I mainly just got lovely little cards and things from the rest of my family, which is perfect because I just love reading little notes and having little cards to store away in my card box. So as always, my parents well and truly spoiled me this year and picked me up loads of lovely things. I did help my mum with a few of them, but she treated me to so many extra things I did not expect. So starting off with what I've got in my hand, because I've been fiddling with it for this video, it is a perfume by Clean Reserve, which I think is only sold in Space and K, I'm not sure, but it's the Rain Scent. I tried this on when I went to the store and it smells so, so nice. I'm not going to try and really describe it to you. It's described as watery musk, so I'm going to say that's what it smells like. It does smell a little bit musky, but still quite fresh, and just really nice for the daytime, and yeah, I really love it. I also got a really lovely Aesop body cleanser, because my mum knows how much I love really lovely body washes, but I just can't bear to buy them myself, because spending that much money on something which you're just going to have on for a couple of minutes and then wash straight off just seems crazy to me, but having a really nice one in the shower is going to be amazing over the next few weeks or hopefully months that it lasts. They also got me and my boyfriend matching mugs, they're from Anthropology, and mine has a D on it obviously and his has an F and they're just so lovely, they're a really good size for drinking tea or coffee and they're also perfect for hot chocolate because they have a really good big surface so you can get loads of marshmallows on which is amazing because I am just obsessed with marshmallows and speaking of marshmallows she also got me some lovely marshmallows and shortbread to go with this so perfect little gift and perfect for me considering I spend half my life on the couch watching Netflix. Another lovely skincare gift from Space and K, she got me the Omri Beats Girl Rejuvenating Night Cream because I tried a sample of this quite a few months ago now, it might have even been a year ago, and I absolutely loved it and it made such a difference to my skin but it's just ridiculously expensive so as a gift it was so so lovely and I can't wait to use it. She's just the best at gifts my mum. <laughs> So probably the only makeup gift that I got was this Louboutin lipstick, which is really the only makeup gift I need. I have a lot of makeup, so I don't normally ask for it, but this is the kind of thing that I would never buy myself, but I will absolutely treasure and probably use very frequently, actually. So yeah, they look like this if you've never seen them before. They just have the most beautiful packaging ever, and they come in this long kind of necklace, which... I will never use, I might use it to hang it up in my room or something, but I'm never going to wear this as a necklace, I don't really know who is, but the colour that I got was, I have no idea, it says 200, so maybe it's colour 200, 
but it's just a really lovely kind of pinky peachy nude colour. It's kind of like a My Lips But Better shade, which is exactly what I wanted because I have a lot of nudes and peachy nudes, but I don't have any good everyday colours that just look really fresh and healthy, so that's exactly what this is. I'm really scared to use it, but I can't wait to finally wear it when I do. And then two more candles from my parents because they know I love candles as well. I'm sure everyone knows by now because I tell everyone I meet how much I love candles. But I've got these two. This one is Diptyque Bay, Bay's Bay Candle. This is one of my favourites and I actually have a mini which I've just finished so this is perfect. And then this one is by Neon. It's the Calm and Relax scent and it's Complete Bliss. I smelt this in John Lewis when I went with my mum and she surprised me with it. I did not think she was going to get it for me. But yeah, I'm really happy that she did because it just smells perfect for the bedroom if you want to unwind and have a really lovely night's sleep. And then moving on to some clothing bits, I received these really lovely snuggly slippers. I usually get a pair of slippers every year because I just live in them, I walk around the house in them all day long and these ones are so nice and soft inside and I've been wearing them non-stop. You can probably already see that the fur is going a bit funny where I've just been wearing them every single day but they are just perfect and so, so comfortable. And then the next bedtime thing, it goes along with that perfectly, and it is a pair of pyjamas. And these ones are from Victoria's Secret. Again, I got a pair of pyjamas last year from Victoria's Secret, and they were the full-length trousers and full-length sleeved shirt. And this time she got me the shorts version because it's just really nice sometimes to not be completely covered in pyjamas. Sometimes you want to have a little bit of skin out so that you don't get too hot. So the shorts are just like this. They're really cute and I love, love, love the print. And then the top is the same, just a shirt but with short sleeves. So I'm really happy with that and I haven't worn them yet because I just love wearing fresh pyjamas and I'm trying to save them for like a special occasion when I've just washed my hair and I've just had a shower and I've just got fresh sheets on so that it's like the perfect time to wear brand new pyjamas. Next thing I got is just so extravagant but I absolutely love it and it is a YSL card holder and I've always used card holders or small purses just because I don't carry that much cash with me or change, I usually just have cards so it's a lot easier for me and it means that if I'm rushing to the shops or anything I can literally just grab this and go. So my mum got me a really lovely card wallet which is in the most beautiful blush pink colour with the gold YSL logo and I couldn't have asked for a better one, I think this is like my dream card holder and I don't think I'll ever need another one. And then moving on to the last few presents which are all clothing pieces and I absolutely love all of these. I did choose them because I am fussy with clothes but I completely forgot about them by the time Christmas rolled around because we did go and buy them really really early on. So the first thing is a pair of jeans and these are by J Brand. We picked them up in Selfridges and they're just really lovely blue skinny jeans. Oh my god I just whacked myself in the face. I never used to wear blue denim that much but I've really got into it last year and I just really wanted a high quality pair because I find it's so hard to find a nice shade of blue denim and these ones just fit perfectly, the shade is perfect, they have a few small rips but not too many so they're perfect all year round and I just really cannot wait to wear these. And then if you have checked out my Instagram you will have already seen this, it was a little acne present and I'm so so excited to finally have my first acne piece. I just love their packaging first of all, so I'm so happy I can now display this in my room. So my parents kindly got me this acne jumper, I don't know what this is called exactly, it was back to front, but it's one of their mohair jumpers and it's so so soft and snuggly, I have worn it already and it wasn't itchy, it was a little bit around the neckline but that's just because I get so sensitive around the base of my neck, but other than that it was perfect, I didn't get too hot but I didn't need to wear a coat with it, I just wore a little thermal underneath and it was perfect. And it's just the most beautiful colour, it's so soft, it fits perfectly and I'm just in love and I can see myself wearing this for the rest of this winter and then next winter and forevermore because it's just so nice. So the next thing was actually a little present to myself and I said to myself I wasn't going to buy any more bags after my Gucci bag purchase but I saw this one when I was shopping with my friend in London and I just had to buy it. It's not as expensive as Gucci so I thought it was okay to buy it and put it under the tree for myself. And it is this little bag, so it's by a brand called Consinelli, I believe. I've never heard of them before, but I saw their shop and everything was just beautiful. So I ended up picking up this bag. It's just a small suede bag in a kind of blush dark beige, which is really lovely. It matches my new jumper perfectly, which I didn't even plan, but I'm so happy it does match. It's very different from all of my other bags. Obviously my Gucci bag is black and quilted. 
and I have a few other smaller bags but I don't have anything in this shape or size or style or colour so it's a really great addition to my wardrobe and I've really enjoyed wearing it since I opened it. It's just such a good size and it has really good pockets. It's got three pockets which makes it really easy to sort everything out. So yeah, really happy I bought that for myself. I know not everyone treats themselves to a Christmas present to themselves, from themselves, but I'm really happy I did and I love it. So onto the couple of PR gifts that I received. I received this really lovely package from Loving Tan, which is my absolute favourite tan brand. I wear them every single time. I've got a layer of their tan on now and it's just the perfect tan if you want something really, really dark and natural looking that lasts a really long time. So they sent me this package which just has so much stuff in it. Literally, probably their whole line. So the tans that I use are the Two Hour, two hour Express in dark and the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark and I usually wear these depending on if I want to tan in the morning or at night and these are perfect and they give me the perfect colour so I'm really happy they sent me back up to those and they also sent me their bronze shimmer cream to try out this is in Ultra Dark because again I love to be super super dark and this is so lovely, I wore it on New Year's Eve because I forgot to tan and it gave me the same finish as a tan with a really lovely glow and it really smoothed out my skin so I really liked using this and I can't wait to see what it looks like over the top of the actual self tan so I'm sure it will just look amazing. And then also there are a few little accessories just to perfect my tan like the back reacher which is amazing, it's the best idea ever because I really really struggle to reach the middle of my back. I just about get it but this will just make the whole ordeal a lot easier and it will mean I don't pull any muscles. And then the next gift was from Charlotte Tilbury which I really was not expecting. They emailed me and I was like oh my gosh my favourite makeup brand has emailed me to send me a gift and they sent me a really lovely package, it came in their beautiful gift boxes and then they sent me two lovely things. So the first thing was their instant look in a palette which is just a full on face palette, it has everything you need to kind of finish off your makeup look. It's got three eyeshadows, two blushes and a bronzer and a highlighter and they're all such beautiful everyday shades and they'll suit my complexion and kind of makeup style perfectly. So yeah, I really can't wait to use that. And then they also sent me this little makeup bag which is called Quick and Easy Makeup and it's got loads of little minis in it which are perfect for on the go. You can just shove this in your bag and it's got loads of bits that you need to complete your makeup look. And they're all just such amazing products. I can't believe that they sent me all of this. So in the bag you've got a little mini Wonder Glow and a lipstick in, what is this, very Victoria. It's one of their Matte Revolution lipsticks and a colour chameleon in amber haze which I do already have but it's good to have a backup or I can give it to my mum or someone like that and then a mini mascara which will be so handy just to throw in. and then the final thing is one of their beach sticks which I have never tried before and this one looks like it was such a lovely colour Ooh, wow okay so that's a really lovely peachy highlighty kind of shade which will be perfect because I love those kinds of colours Oh, I'm so happy. I can't wait to get using all this. And then finally onto my sales purchases. So as I said, I didn't get that many. They were mostly home things and I just didn't really need anything after all my lovely Christmas gifts. So I tried to refrain as much as possible, but a few things just got me and I had to buy them. So I guess I'll show them to you. So the first thing is a bit of a random one, but it's from the Naked Marshmallow Company and it is a s'mores kit. And I've really wanted to try out one of these marshmallow kits for a really long time. I've been seeing them all over Instagram and they just look really, really cool. So in this one you get the little burner, which is the main thing that I wanted. And then you get marshmallows and the s'mores crackers and some chocolate, which will be so lovely for a little night in on the couch. I can just make some s'mores with my boyfriend and really relax and I just can't wait to use this. He's currently away, so I'm having to save this for when he gets back. But as soon as he's back, we're going to have a movie night and make some s'mores. And I would buy this full price anyway, but they did have a sale, which is why I thought it was the perfect time to try it out. And I'm sure I'll be reordering again and again and again. So next for Space and K, I picked up a few things, mostly candles. I wasn't too impressed with the Space and K sale, not because of the products, but just because it was really hard to navigate. But I still picked up a few things and I'm really happy with all of them. So firstly, a couple of skincare bits. I picked up the By Terry Grain de Rose, which is a exfoliating kind of cleanser slash mask. What I tend to do with this is put it on my face, that's a little bit damp, I just exfoliate it in and then leave it on for five minutes and rinse it off and it just leaves my skin feeling really smooth and hydrated and fresh and I really really love it. And I can't believe it was in the sale, I'm not sure if they're discontinuing this but I may have to stock up this so because it's so so lovely and it was such a bargain. And then the only other skincare bit I picked up was this moisturiser which is by Oskia. I absolutely love Oskia, I use 
a lot of their skincare products anyway, so I thought I'd pick up the day cream, seeing as mine is almost running out. And I, again, can't believe this was in the sale. I don't think they're discontinuing it. I don't know whether they were selling off extra stock or what, but I'm really happy that I managed to pick it up. I'm thinking to do a skincare routine in the next few months because I have been using some really amazing products, so do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. And then the final bits from Space and K are all actually from Diptyque. I've got a few candles and then some perfume, which just, I love their perfume, so I'm so happy I managed to get some in the sale. So I'll start off with that. I got this little set. It's called L'Art de Parfum, I believe. <laughs> So inside you get five little rollables. I really love rollables because you can just pop them in your bag and it's really easy to change your scent every day and you don't have to worry about having huge bottles going to waste. I think this set was like £30 reduced from 70 so it's a really good bargain and you get all of these minis for less than one bottle of Diptyque perfume. So that was really, really nice and there's lots of scents in here that I haven't heard of so I'm really excited to try them out. And then the last three bits from Space and K are all Diptyque candles. <laughs> I mean... Did you realise I'm obsessed yet? <laughs> so firstly I got the big size of this one, which I have no idea how you say it, but I will link it down below. I just bought this on a whim because I always love their Christmas scents, and this one just sounded really nice in the description, and it was over half price, which was really, really good. And then the other two, again, I think are both Christmas scents. I just really love their Christmas ones, and I love the packaging. So I picked up this one, which I already have in the big size, but I'm going through it really, really quickly. So I picked up the mini, just because I thought it was a bit extensive to buy a large one of this as well. This one just smells really fresh and woody, kind of like pine trees, and it's just so nice to burn during the winter. And again, another mini that I cannot pronounce. I will try and find it so I can link it down below so that you can see what it's like. But I tried to go for kind of a mixture so that they all smelled different and I wasn't just buying the same candle over and over again. So the last few bits are all kind of clothing bits. I firstly made an order to Urban Outfitters, mainly to pick up homewear stuff, but I did also pick up a few underwear bits in the sale. So I picked up this Calvin Klein set. I've already got the grey and the black, so I knew I needed the white, and I think it was like half price, which is just amazing considering these would normally be quite expensive. So I picked this one up and it's all fresh and I can't wait to wear it. It'll look so good with a fresh tan. And then the only other thing from Urban Outfitters was this little bandeau. It's a really lovely material. I don't know how to, to describe it, but it's completely seamless and just really, really soft and stretchy and it's got detachable straps. And I just mainly picked this up to wear under strapless things or under things that I can't be bothered to wear a bra with just so that I have a little bit of something underneath. And then the last thing is something that I picked up just a couple of days ago in London. I was actually looking for a dress for the Go Glam Gala. I was looking for a dress for that event and then after I'd found it, I just had a bit of a wander around because when you're in Selfridges you just can't resist. And I stumbled across Zenig and Voltaire and I saw this t-shirt was in the sale and it was the last one and so therefore I just had to pick it up. I have tried this on before and I was going to go and buy it full price but luckily I held off and it went half price in the sale and I just love this t-shirt. It's so soft and it's the perfect slouchy v-neck and it's got this really nice burnout print which has got like stars and planets and things. So excuse my no makeup face but I've just been editing this video and realised that my camera cut off right at the end which is so 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 annoying but I thought I'd just film a little vloggy outro just to say goodbye to you all rather than have to try and pretend and film the ending again. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please give it a thumbs up so that I know you enjoy these kinds of videos and please do subscribe to see more videos from me. Also leave me a comment letting me know what you receive for Christmas or if you are looking to try any of the things that I received and also let me know what your favourite products at the moment are in general because I'm always looking to shop which really is not very good but oh well. As always I'm going to leave links for everything in the description box just so that you can easily shop everything I purchased because who wants shopping to be hard? Also you'll find my social media links and my blog links and everything like that in the description box so that you can check me out on all of my other platforms. I use Instagram religiously, some may say that I'm addicted but I just say that I really like taking pictures. So again thank you so so much for watching, have an amazing week or weekend whenever you're watching this and I'll see you next time, bye!